my training stuff, it, it was, um, you know, we're doing a lot of the Cressy programs, you know, something we did last year and did this year, you know, so it was good to get, you know, two years of that under our belt. Um, but the yoga, you know, less lifting, you know, I, I do a little bit of yoga every off season, you know, something I kind of do typically, um, you know, modifying the workouts, you know, we just, you know, I really worked hand in hand with Eric, you know, trying to, you know, I like these certain drills, you know, I like doing these med ball stuff, these movement stuff. So I think, I think he kind of meant, you know, we just kind of modified the workouts a little bit. I don't think I really lifted, you know, lifted less, you know, I just, you got to stay in shape. It's a long season. So, um, you know, we just made some modifications, you know, stuff that I liked and, you know, first couple of times working with him. So uh, we got a great relationship and uh, it, it was, it was, you know, he's, he, He's good at what he does, you know. He's he's a great strength guy, so it was uh, good working with him, you know, this or with the off season. I understand that freak injuries happen. You've had a couple, but how confident are you that there can be a, you know, that these modifications can lead to some more games on the field? For you? I, I think it's going to make big adjustments, you know, um, you know, especially a lot of the movement stuff that he has us doing, you know, a lot of stuff with med balls, you know, just getting those explosive movements. I feel like that's where a lot of the things happen, or with those quick you know, kind of explosive movement. So uh, just training a little bit more with that and, uh, you know, a little less, you know, straight bench press and, and squat, um, you know, I think is, is going to help out. You're welcome. We can go next to Eric Boland. Eric, please unmute. Eric, what was your uh, reaction to you guys bringing Brett Gardner back? <laughs> Eric, I was excited. You know, I think it uh, it took a little longer than you know it should have. You know, based on a you know a guy like Brett Gardner, who's you know been a leader of this clubhouse. You know, been with the Yankees since you know oh eight oh nine. You know, won a World Series here. Uh, he's a winner. You know, helps lead us into the postseason every single year. Um, you know, I, I was ecstatic. You know, I was you know kind of wearing him out during the off season. I would text him all the time. You know, run a reach out, call him. You know, just kind of see what he's doing. How, how's everything moving? And um, you know, I, this I can I think I can speak for the whole clubhouse and this whole organization that we're happy to have him back. And you know, back in pinstripes where he belongs. You know, he's a guy that you know need, needs to start his career here and end his career here. He's, he's that important to you know not only me but you know the young guys we have on this team and you know all my other teammates. He just you know even if he's not on the field, you know he finds a way to impact the game. You know, and it's he's this very special individual. You know, in that way. We go next to Tina Cervasio from Fox 5. Tina, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Hope you're well. Um, just, you know, the expectations never change for the Yankees as you come into spring training. Each year you come back now with a new experience from the way that that season ended last year in the division series. How did it carry over to what you want to fulfill and help these Yankees accomplish this season? Like, what, what was kind of left? from the way last season ended. Yeah, Tina, another bad taste, you know, in our mouth. You know, I can, you know, I think everyone can kind of see that, you know, getting kicked out in the division series is, you know, not what our goal is and not what we intended. Um, you know, first of all, you know, I got to go back to, you know, winning our division. You know, that's something that we didn't do. The Rays came out and they were, a, you know, a great ball club. You know, they got great pitching staff, great bullpen, you know, great, you know, young players over there and they won the division. I think that's something, you know, first and foremost that we need to do. You know, we need to set ourselves up by, you know, winning the regular season and putting ourselves in a good position into the postseason because, you know, each year, you know, each team gets reloaded, restacked, and, you know, new arms, new players, and, you know, we're doing the same thing. But uh, I think it starts in the regular season getting, you know, keeping guys on the field, you know, playing hard and winning our division. You know, I think if we do that and take care of business there, it sets us up for, the postseason where, you know, anything can happen, you know, where our ultimate goal is to, you know, win a World Series and bring, you know, a championship back to the Bronx. But uh, I think I think it all starts, you know, now in spring training and now in the regular season. That's This is where the, you know, the work starts and um, you, know, you get to have some fun in the postseason. We can go next to Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, please unmute. There you go. Yeah, good to see you, Sweeney. Um, 
Yeah, that, that plays a big part into it, you know, because, you know, I'm a guy that, you know, when I'm out there on defense, you know, when I'm on the base path, you know, when a pitcher makes a pitch and, you know, the ball's hitting my direction or anywhere near right field or anywhere, you know, it's my job to catch it. You know, if that means going through a wall or going into the stands, you know, I'm going to try to do it. And, you know, that's where over the years, you know, you learn to, you know, work a little smarter, you know, not harder. You try to, you know, try to have a better, you know, if I can get a better first first read, a better uh, first step, you know, that might help me, you know, not have to crash land into the wall at the same time, you know. So it's little things I've been working on with Reggie Woolitz. You know, we've kind of talked um, a little bit in the offseason, a little bit now um, since we've gotten into camp, just working on just certain things with footwork, you know, just a quicker first step. If I can get a quicker first step and maybe get to some balls I don't have to dive for, um, because, you know, my big body, you know, 275, you know, diving, you know, for 162 games, man, it, it does a lot of wear and tear. But, you know, I think it comes back to uh, just playing a little smarter. We go next to Marley Rivera, ESPN. Marley, go ahead. Hi, Aaron. I, I hope you're well. Good to see you. Hope your family is well, too. Um, Aaron, what did you think of the, the service line manipulation comments and the free agency comments that forced uh, the Mariners president, Kevin Matter, to resign? Uh, your teammate, uh, Garrett Cole, was really open uh, in talking to us and saying that it's something that the players should listen to and uh, that this is really how many organizations operate. Hey, Marley. Good to see you. Um, you know, I've, I haven't been able to read all of it. You know, I've heard bits and pieces. You know, you kind of hear it's all over Sports Center, ESPN, everything. And, you know, I've caught bits and pieces of it. Um, you know, it, it's tough to hear, you know, because, you know, as a player, you know, I've always wanted to have the best product out there on the field. You know, I feel like as, you know, any player, any person that wants to go out there and win, you know, this is about, you know, winning the championship. You know, and I've always felt like it doesn't matter if you're, 40 years old, if you're 18 years old, if you're the best player at that position or whatever it is, you know, you should be, you know, get that opportunity, you know, so that's where, you know, it's, it's saddening to hear, you know, those comments coming from a guy, um, you know, in that position, but um, yeah, I think we're all ears, you know, it's, uh, it's sad to see and, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to see what kind of comes out of this, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, if you're that young kid in that position has a chance to make an impact on the team, you want to make that impact. You know, it's your dream to play professional baseball and play in the major leagues and, you know, getting cut out of that, you know, based on, you know, certain manipulations isn't that I don't think that's right. And just on an entirely different topic, Aaron, of course, last uh, spring you were greatly limited. And um, what does it mean to you to, as you say, be healthy and start this spring, you know, all over in maybe what will be a 162 season? I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, you know, last year I thought I was coming in healthy, you know, but I played a, you know, whole postseason and, you know, all worked out all off season, you know, with a, you know, broken rib and, you know, a little punctured lung. So it's, uh, I'm excited to come in, you know, healthy, feeling great, you know, working with, you know, like I talked earlier, Eric Cressy and, you know, kind of fine tuning certain things that, you know, my body needs to kind of work the right way and, and function the right, right way. Uh, you know, me being six seven two seventy five is a little different than, uh, you know, five, six, you know, Brett Garner, 150 pounds. So, uh, you know, we got to do things a little different, but, you know, that's, that's what I love about this, you know, making those little adjustments, making those changes to try to help myself be, you know, one of the best players in the game. That's probably going to get back to Guardy. Hey, uh -oh. hey, one, 150. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go next to Dan Martin. Dan, please unmute. Dan, um, you know, one thing I'm excited about actually is, you know, a lot of these new pitchers we signed. You know, I'm glad I don't have to face Corey Kluber. Um, Jay Mo, I'm excited to have him in pinstripes. You know, I faced him a couple times when he was with Pittsburgh. And, you know, an electric arm, you know, he's going to give you innings. And, you know, I know, you know, a lot of those guys are, you know, coming off certain injuries. But just talking to them, you know, after they signed and, you know, just hearing about their work, work ethic and, you know, what their goals are, you know, I'm excited about that. That's one thing I, I feel like we've kind of, you know, missed is having just, you know, a little depth there with the pitching. You know, we've always had, you know, having Garrett Cole, you know, be the ace and, you know, losing guys like Severino always hurt us. And, um, you know, slowly we're going to get Severino back. We got J-Mo, we got Kluber. I think we're going to be, you know, stacking up our, our rotation to be, you know, something special. You know, we got a lot of great guys over there and um, 
And I, I think just finishing. That's what it comes down to is like, you know, just just being ball players in the box, you know, grinding out at bats in the postseason and just getting the job done. You know, that's one thing I think we've missed a couple times with runners on base or certain situations, even, you know, me including, speaking of myself, there's been times, you know, especially last postseason, you know, I didn't come up, you know, when I, the team needed me and, you know, that still stings. So it's, you know, just us working on, you know, doing the little things that, you know, make a long, you know, make a big difference, you know, in the bend. You know, it's moving runners over, you know, playing some small ball, doing what we need to do to put ourselves in the right position. Go next to Pete Caldera. Pete, go ahead and unmute. Yeah, I was excited to hear that news. You know, uh, Clint's uh, he's a special talent. You know, he's he's got speed, quickness, power, um, great in the outfield, great instincts. You know, and some, that's something you know specifically outfield work that he's really worked on over the years, and it's been fun to watch him grow and you know want to get better. You know, you see some guys that you know they don't they're not good at something. They're like, you know, I don't want to do that and embarrass myself. I'd rather work on something I'm good on, good at, and. Just work on that, you know, but Clint's, you know, he's the opposite. He's a guy that has looked for his weaknesses, you know, if it's stuff with his hitting, stuff with base running, stuff fielding, and he's, you know, attacked it head on, you know. So watching him progress over the years and, you know, when I'm usually out there not right field with him, watching him throw, watching him work, and uh, it, it's been a it's been a treat, you know, watching him, you know, turn into what he is. And, you know, he goes from one year where he's getting a lot of criticism on his outfield to the next year he's a gold glove candidate. You know, that, that just – speak so highly of what type of, you know, player and person Clint is. We're going to let Ron Blum skip in line because it's my understanding it's his 60th birthday today, AJ. <laughs> Ronnie, are you out there? I'm here. Yes, man. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Ron, first off, happy birthday. Um, I'm glad you're spending it with us here. <laughs> but, you know, every year I put my heart and soul, you know, into this game, you know, into my teammates, you know, into this city, into this organization. You know, so that's why every year it, it, it hurts, you know, when, when we lose and, you know, don't, you know, I feel like I let the city down. I feel like I let my teammates down and, you know, those – those those cut those those cuts are deep, you know. But those are just scars, you know. I got scars all over me of, you know, past losses and past experience. But all it's doing is, you know, making us stronger. So I just try to build, you know, build off those experiences. You know what what worked, what didn't work, and, you know, it's it's all going to make it sweeter in the end. You know, it's 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 a journey. You know, it's this process of you know going through the ups and downs. It's that, that's a journey. That's that's what I love to do, and you know it's what's going to make the ultimate prize. You know, bringing a championship back so much so much sweeter. How do you get it out of your system and how long does it take? Yeah, I usually don't talk to too many people, you know, a couple of weeks after the season's over. But that's where I kind of decompress, get away from things, um, don't even think about baseball. You know, I don't even, even want to see it on TV. Um, but after that, you know, next couple of weeks, kind of getting into November, December is when I start breaking down film, looking at past games, you know, checking it, you know, just different numbers I got, different things I look for to see, like, where can I improve? What can I do to help this team? You know, if I feel like I can do my job, you know, I trust all my teammates to do their job. Now it's, you know, it's all about accountability and making sure I can step up and do my job. So then I spend a couple of weeks um, just looking where I can make adjustments. And then from there, it's time to, it's time to move forward. You know, last year is last year and, you know, and time to start looking forward to the new year and new team and new things, new things to do. We go to Meredith Morakovic. Meredith, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. You just said uh, looking forward to the new year and new team. Just what's the overall feeling in that clubhouse right now on day one with everybody essentially reporting now? Oh, everyone's excited. You know, that's one thing. You know, we're, we're like little kids again, you know, kind of meeting up for, you know, it seems like summer camp or getting back the first day of school, you know, seeing everybody, you know, seeing the changes, you know, Everyone's in great shape, you know. The swings I've been seeing, or everyone's 
a lot of homers hit today. It's it's been this is a special group we got here. You know, a lot of these guys I've been with, you know, the past couple of years, and we built such a great relationship. Um, no, this is this is going to be a special year, and you know, like I said, like I was saying earlier, adding you know some special arms, you know, adding you know a couple of new new guys, signing DJ back, um, just in a whole, it's a lot of important moves that need to be made, and um, I think we're setting up you know to have a very special 21 year.